بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته and welcome all viewers inshallah today we will be continuing the series 40 hadith for the new muslim the second hadith is where the prophet muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam said فإن حق الله على الإباد أن يعبدوه ولا يشركوا به شيئا وحق العباد على الله أن لا يعذب من لا يشرك به شيئا the prophet muhammad peace be upon him said Indeed, Allah's right over his slaves is that they worship him alone and not associate any partners with him. And the slaves right with Allah that Allah gave them is that Allah not punish the one who does not associate any partners with him. Brothers and sisters, I chose this to be the second hadith in this series because it very clearly and concisely summarizes the most important thing for the human being to do and the most important thing for the human being to stay away from. The most important thing for the human being to do is to worship Allah alone. This is actually why Allah created us. This is why we exist. This is our purpose in life. Allah tells us in the Quran, وَمَا خَلَقَتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ Allah says, and I did not create the jinn and mankind except to worship me alone. And there's an important Arabic term that summarizes this concept called Tawheed. Tawheed refers to the oneness of Allah. Tawheed means to single out Allah regarding anything and everything that specifically pertains only to Him. So for example, Allah alone is perfect in every way and free from every deficiency. And thus Allah alone deserves to be worshipped. Therefore, we pray to Allah alone. We know that Allah alone has ultimate control over everything that exists. And we single him out regarding his lordship, regarding his divinity, regarding his names and attributes. And this is the most important thing for a human being to focus on, to implement. This is why we were created. As for the most important thing for us to stay away from, this is the opposite of Tawheed. This is the worst thing that we can do. This is something that we have been created to avoid and stay away from. And that is associating partners with Allah. And the word that summarizes this concept is shirk. Shirk is the opposite of Tawheed. And while Tawheed is the greatest thing that a human being can implement, shirk, on the other hand, is the absolute worst sin. Those who commit shirk and die upon that will not be forgiven by Allah. Allah tells us in the Quran, indeed, Allah does not forgive that partners be associated with him, but he forgives what is less than that for whom he wills. And he who associates others with Allah has certainly fabricated a tremendous sin. So brothers and sisters, know and understand this has always been the situation throughout human history. Worshipping Allah alone has always been the human being's purpose. It's always been the most important thing for us to implement. And committing shirk has always been the worst sin. It's always been the one thing that we should be most cautious to avoid. And this is why every prophet and every messenger throughout history has called to tawheed and warned from shirk. Allah tells us in the Quran, And we certainly sent into every nation a messenger saying, Worship Allah alone and avoid false objects of worship. Avoid a taghut This has always been the true religion throughout history. This has always been the call of the prophets and messengers. Calling to Tawheed, calling to worshiping Allah alone, warning against shirk, warning against associating partners with Allah. So understanding this information and acting upon it is the priority. It's the most important thing. Hence, the very first pillar of Islam, the way that somebody enters into Islam is they take their shahada. They take their testification of faith. And what do we say? In the testification of faith, the first thing we testify is La ilaha illallah That there is nothing worthy of worship except Allah. So we negate shirk. We negate that Allah has any partners. We negate the idea that there is anything other than Allah that is worthy of worship. And then we affirm, we testify, we emphasize that Allah alone deserves to be worshipped. There's nothing worthy of worship except Allah. And in this series, which specifically caters to new Muslims, I wanted to bring this hadith in the very beginning. Because when you embrace Islam, there are so many things to consider. There are so many different things 
to learn about, to potentially implement in your life. It can, in some cases, feel overwhelming or very confusing. And this is why from the outset, we want to get our priorities straight. Yes, Islam deals with every aspect of the human being's life. That's because this is a complete religion. And this is a favor that Allah blessed us with, to have guidance from the all-knowing creator regarding what's right and wrong. What should we do? What should we not do in any given situation? However, as a new Muslim, keep in mind, there is a hierarchy of priorities. And at the very top, priority number one is implementing Tawheed and avoiding shirk. This is the main thing to always focus on. If somebody embraces Islam from a non-Muslim background and they're living in a non-Muslim society, there are certain sins that we might be exposed to, that we might be in danger of falling into. It can take time. It can be a struggle. However, know that not all sins are the same. As we mentioned, for those who die upon shirk, having not repented, will not be forgiven in the hereafter. However, when it comes to other sins that are less than shirk, as long as we implemented Tawheed and we worshipped Allah alone and we died upon that, then we can hope for the mercy of Allah. We can hope that Allah will forgive our sins. So in closing, I want to mention the following hadith. And keep in mind, we should not approach this hadith thinking that we are free to just commit all kinds of sins, that we shouldn't worry about our sins. We should, of course, try our best to avoid sins. And in future episodes, we will learn about how sins actually have an effect on our heart and can be a cause for people to go astray. However, the following hadith emphasizes how important it is to implement Tawheed and to avoid shirk, and that regardless of any other sins that we do, we can hope for the mercy of Allah. And we should not hesitate to turn to Him in repentance and asking for forgiveness. The Messenger of Allah وسلم, said, Allah the Exalted said, O son of Adam, so long as you call upon me and hope in me, I shall forgive you for what you have done, and I shall not mind. O oh, son of Adam, were your sins to reach the clouds in the sky? And were you then to ask forgiveness of me? I shall forgive you. O oh, son of Adam, were you to come to me with an earth full of sins? And were you then to face me without having associated anything with me? I shall grant you an earth full of forgiveness. That does it for this episode, brothers and sisters. Remember that the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, Indeed, Allah's right over his slaves is that they worship him alone and not associate any partners with him. And the slaves' right with Allah that Allah gave them is that Allah not punish the one who does not associate any partners with him. This is from his mercy that he has promised that as long as we worship Allah alone and fulfill his rights regarding Tawheed and stay away from shirk, he will not punish us. And of course, brothers and sisters, if Allah does not punish us, then that means he will grant us eternal paradise in the hereafter. May Allah grant us paradise in the hereafter. May Allah guide us to always properly implement Tawheed. May Allah save us from ever getting near shirk. Allah knows best. Thank you for watching. Jazakumullahu khairan. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.